What is up guys? This is Swift and welcome to Kingdoms of Amalo Reckoning, episode 15. I couldn't make out half of what the king was saying, but it sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. Good thing you won't be facing it alone. In fact, I think I've got a lead on finding an old friend of ours. I don't have any old friends. I just started the game a few hours ago. Who? Old Felmerus Hughes, of course. You said he was dead. If anybody can help, it's bound to be the gnome who brought you back to life. I've been asking around, and I was able to make contact with his superior. He thinks he might be able to help find Hughes. Awesome, I can't wait to see him again. All gnome scholars have a Templar who sponsors their research, and apparently Hughes' sponsor, Templar Octien, is desperate to find him. Go southwest to the Hollowlands in Detir. Octien will be waiting there to discuss how you might reach Hughes. Thanks, Agarth. You're always there for me, buddy. You're not the only one on the hunt for Hughes. Octien has followed his trail to the Hollowlands in Detir. You'll want to talk to him. Alright, Agar. Thanks again, man. I hope to see you soon. Be safe, my friend. I gotta speak with Elin. Who would have thought you were so interesting? Death seems to have worked out very well for you. Agarth's looking for escape. Neuralem's looking for a savior. And Tatarian is looking for a champion. And somehow, you're giving everyone what they want. I'm impressed. You don't have to stop with them, girl, if you know what I'm saying. You're right. This won't be easy. The two Arthur have our forces under siege at Mel Sanchir, and their power has only grown over the years. You'll need more help than just me and that old bait weaver. You'll need an army. I doubt that's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to kill everyone myself. A few years ago, one warrior could have slipped past unnoticed. But stealth is no longer an option. Not even for me. But there is hope. In the plains of Erethel, there waits a player who has been away from this game for far too long. It is time to contact General Talera. Meet me in the village of Emer, and I will tell you everything. I will see you there, Olin. Be safe, girl, because I don't want to have to come searching for you. Alright guys, we are done here and headed to Overlook Camp in hopes that we can find Fumaris Hughes. Go ahead and check my map real quick, see how far we have to go. Wow, it's here in the southeast. Doesn't look like too long of a walk. Hopefully it'll be exciting, and hopefully this area looks different. No fighting in the city. Uh, do I look like I'm fighting? I mean, I'm ready to give you a demonstration if you like. Didn't think so, buddy. So here we are, on the road again, walking to another location. This is awesome. Sarcasm alert. I would have to say that's one of this game's flaws, is that you walk for 10 minutes to a quest, you talk to one person, and then you walk for 10 more minutes to talk to another person, just so you can walk for 10 more minutes. I mean, if I wanted cardio, I'd go to the gym, people. Give me some action. Overall though, considering that this is the first game in a series, I think they did a great job with this game. And while it does have a few minor flaws, I think overall, it's a lot better than a lot of other games in the genre. You can call this a Skyrim ripoff or an Oblivion ripoff, but at least it does what it does well. I mean, have you ever played Two Worlds? Or Two Worlds 2? Those are perfect examples of ripoff games that do not do what they do well. So. If this game rips off Skyrim in any way at all, I at least have to give it credit for doing it well. What do we have here? Dispel Ward. Oh god. Let's give it a try. What? Press the mouse when the cursor is above the glyph to break it. Glyphs will reseal themselves after a time. Miss and all glyphs reseal. Some glyphs reseal faster than others. Be careful of the order you break them in. Break all of the glyphs to dispel the ward. Sounds easy enough, but it doesn't look very easy. Pressing the mouse while the cursor is over a dark sigil will cause the ward to explode. I've got one. Let's see. Oh crap, I ran out of time, I guess. You have been cursed. To be cleansed of your curse, visit a healer. Oh my god, are you serious? I just got back from the healer, people. I just got back. How many curses am I going to get? I mean, it really kind of sucks. You got to go to the healer every single time you get a curse or a disease. 
What the heck were they thinking? I know you can cure diseases with potions, but I guess you can't cure curses with potions. Either way, I haven't figured out how to make those kind of potions, so it doesn't really matter. I'm stuck going back to the town anyway. Well, I guess it's still a lot more lenient than Dark Souls, which cuts your life bar in half when you're cursed and forces you to go from wherever you are to one of the two healers in the game. So, I guess I can't complain too much. Oh, yes! A new area! Beautiful! This is awesome! We are in the desert, my friends. Oh, yes! New ingredients, too. I am very happy now. <laughs> Look at that cactus! Wow, that's freaking sweet! I'm gonna like this place. I can already see it. Hello, friend. How are you? Oops, not a friend. Get this blade! Sure, real kind of- You won't get a chance to attack! Well, that guy was very easy, but... I have a feeling if I would have gave him a chance to attack, he may have been a little bit harder. Unfortunately for him, I'm a cheesy bastard. <laughs> this place is so beautiful, it's like the Grand Canyon or something. I'm freaking excited to be here. I really hope that there's some cool stuff in this area. Look at that cactus! I mean, wow! Thumbs up to the art designers of this game because they've taken normal things like cactus and made them their own with special designs and flares. It's just so beautiful. Bitch! You can't hang with me, baby! I'm gonna go crazy! Uh, uh, ee, uh. Oh, he's consecrating, huh? Well, that's okay. It is a consecrate, too. I'll be sure not to stand in that again. Die, Bogart. If you guys notice, I have no mana right now. You know why? Because I'm cursed. Again. If you notice that little jump in the video there, it's because I checked my menu to see if I had any potions to cure my disease, but I don't. So now that I have just discovered this tomb, I'm going to quickly travel back to Gorhart and heal myself. And while I was in Gorhart, I found Omni Blades in the special deliveries chest, which is awesome! Okay guys, we are all healed and back here in the deserts of Detire, and we are headed towards the camp. Oh, we have a structure in the distance. It appears to be a friendly structure because I don't see any enemies. Let's see what this place is called. Modus Mining Outpost. Wow, that's odd. A waterfall in the middle of a desert. This environment is huge, and there's no draw distance. I mean, you can see everything. I'm really impressed, for sure. Looks like another new regent. Scarlet Flowstone. I'll take it. What's this? Sky Blossom. I can't wait to get to an alchemy table. Hopefully we can come up with some better potions. Ooh! Enemies! Take that, Sentinel. Wow, he took the shock and just kept on running. He must be in a hurry. What is there, a sale at Best Buy? Don't run from me! You ain't going nowhere! Electric chair! Wow, he just died from the ticks. <laughs> Dots killed you. Wow, these guys are pusses, man. Wow. Where'd the third one go? Ah, uh, no matter. He probably ran away. Had to make it to Best Buy before they closed. Oh, there he is. Come here, buddy. Uh, uh. Sling, sling. 
Ching! Oh no! Oh my, you called for reinforcements, did you? Too bad they were too late to save you! Oh my god! What the heck is this thing? What? Ow! Shock ya! Oh, what the heck? Whoa! That is deep. Ching! Ow! Take these guys out first if I can. Bust you! Ah! Blocked it. One down. Three to go. Cool. Oh! Oh! Uh, he just puked an egg sack. That is disgusting. I'm having trouble, like, keeping up with the four of these guys. Oh my god, I got something for you. Reckoning mode! <laughs> ah, you're dead. <laughs> what now? <laughs> yeah, put your torch down, Olympic bitch. Because it's time to finish your papa. Boom! Meat hooks! Boom! Bam! You should have stayed buried, Medusa. Because it's time to snap ya! It's unfortunate that you had to come across such a powerful warrior. Hopefully next time, you'll think twice before you touch my sword. Here's another freaking Dispel Ward chest. I'm actually going to try it because since I just healed, I have immunity to curses for a while. So, let's give it a shot. Got one, two, oh come on, that is so impossibly hard. My god, but guess what, I didn't get cursed. So screw you, chest. Hmm, what do we have here? Oh, poor guy. Guess you're not going to be needing this stuff, so I'll carry it with me. Guess the cave banshee and got the best of you. What the heck? I like slashing zombies. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. This guy's beating the crap out of me. Another one? Take that for your troubles, and you are dead again. You have died twice. You're like a twice-baked potato, except you don't taste half as good. Screw you both, and thank you all for watching episode 15 of Swift's Kingdoms of Amalar Reckoning playthrough on Colby House's channel. I hope you had a great time, and if not, maybe you'll have more fun on the next episode. In the meantime, I'll see you on the flip side. What is it?